Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this equilateral triangle ABC inside the square as you can see in this figure. And moreover, AD is the diagonal for this square. And now we are going to find the angle X. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this square ABCD. We can see that AD is the diagonal of this square. Then we can see that these two angles, this angle and this angle, they are equal. And this is our 90 degree angle. And we know that the sum of the angles are 180 degrees in a triangle. If this is a 90 degrees, so these both angles have got to be 45 degrees each. So therefore, this angle, this angle DAB is 45 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ABC, the green one. And we know that this is an equilateral triangle. So therefore, all of its angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle have got to be 60 degrees each. Just keep in your mind. So therefore, our this angle CAB is going to be 60 degrees. Before we proceed any further, let's assume that this diagonal AD and this side length CB, they intersect each other at this point. Let me call this point in F. And now we can see that this angle, this one angle CAF is equal to this angle CAB minus this angle DAB. So let's go ahead and calculate this angle CAF. The CAF is going to be, we know that the angle CAB is 60 degrees. I am going to write down 60 degrees. Take away this angle DAB is 45 degrees. I wrote it down over here. So therefore our angle CAF turns out to be 60 minus 45 is simply 15 degrees. So this angle CAF turns out to be 15 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this shaded triangle CAF. And now let's recall exterior angle theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. So therefore, our this exterior angle X is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles angles. So therefore we can write this angle X equal to this angle CAF plus angle ACF. So now let's go ahead and calculate the value of this angle X or X equal to we know that this angle CAF is simply 15 degrees plus this other angle ACF is 60 degrees. Let's go ahead and add them up so our angle X turns out to be 75 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 75 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.